Okay. All right. Oh, 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 oh shit. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, I am Veos, and welcome to another video. It has been crazy busy right now, and I uh have like you know what I, i'm just gonna do a show and tell today because i have like zero time matter of fact i don't even think i have time to edit this video is gonna be the dumpster fire of dumpster fires <laughs> okay um let's go ahead and just do some show and tell i'm working on a video tonight um that i believe a lot of you will love and i'll take a picture of it and uh post it right after i'm done making this video what the fuck am i looking at oh this save has not been okay cool well um class zero this is a this is something that i i made a star trek uh kind of thing a long time ago and it was a it was a it was a video movie thing um i'll go ahead and post the link you guys can go ahead and take a look at that it was several months ago that's supposed to be the phoenix and yes i spelled phoenix wrong when i first put up the flags but that was a boo-boo <laughs> i was gonna do some more with this nuclear symbol right here but i uh, didn't quite get around to it so yeah that's the phoenix now if you want to see this thing in action um uh go ahead and click the link that i will put in the description of the flight of the phoenix it's only like a couple of minutes long but uh, it was pretty fun to do let's see what this one is class a and look at that this is before i figured out how to make the nacelles red now if you're not into star trek i apologize that does look cool though that does look pretty sweet <laughs> <laughs> um, the new Star Trek is not really my forte. Uh, it, uh, it feels rushed and kind of nonsensical, but um, I'm more of an old school guy anyway, so I like the old Star Trek uh, thing, um, um, thing stuff, thingamajigs. And this is kind of like a kind of like a Miranda class, like a, like the Defiant in the Wrath of Khan, which the Wrath of Khan for me is like one of the best Star Treks out there. Um, it's the classic villain hero fighting each other and all this good stuff. There's a couple of plot holes, sure, but it's made up for um, by the uh, just the, the pure acting of um, the guy who plays Khan, the original Khan. I like him. He's, he's awesome. So this one looks like the same. Oh, no, no, no. It's more of a classic, more classic kind of Star Trek thing going on here. And I made the, made the little nacelles all red and stuff. Now, however, I think this is a no, that's the prop. Okay. There was one in here where I actually used the Kraken Drive to uh, make a uh, warp technology. And the warp, of course, being, you know, a little bit on the slow side, but still pretty fun. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the little room I made for the video. I'll let you guys check that out later. And uh, here we go. D2. What's D2? Oh, that's the, the whole buttons thing. You'll see that in the video as well. For the Flight of the Phoenix. R4. What's R4? Oh, R4. That must be... Yeah, 298 parts. This must be the Kraken Drive. And my wife is watching something very loud right now, but that's okay. She's into anime. It's fine. Yeah, see the Kraken Drive? This is not the gear drive. The gear drive would probably rip this thing apart. This is the docking port drive. So there's a whole bunch of them all lined up. And it does work, but it's very, very slow to go. But if it's like an ion drive. It will work after so long and then, you know, that kind of thing where you could get it if if you're willing if you're patient enough to aim directly at a planet for about two hours straight you'll be flying across at you know 10 percent of the speed of light and you'll have to turn the ship around and you know pretty much do the other other thing the other way uh so yeah there's that slow to go but you know it's free energy there's no fuel required so you know it's kind of like a futuristic drive of some kind it's supposed to be the shuttlecraft right use ion engines but it it's kind of crappy because let's face it warp drive doesn't mean uh you have to power it up and all of a sudden boom you're gone warp drive is simply warp drive the more power you put into a warp drive the more it warps space and time in order to move the ship forward or backwards or whatever so just having warp technology the ability to warp space time itself i mean that could make anything from hovercrafts because you think about it you just warp space time above your craft to cancel out gravity that's pulling you down this is a huge space station i believe i've already posted this in on the channel on the community tab i had to cheat it up there but it still looks freaking awesome and 
you know, if I put docking ports on it and whatnot, I think I can make this look a lot better though. Okay, this is this this is just the warp engine by itself. Is this the Kraken? Yep, this is the one that actually worked. Um, amazingly enough, the warp engine by itself, it, it took off. I mean, it took off. The warp engine by itself will just take off. It, it disappears into the night. Like that. The Bassard Collector needs to be free. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these on there real quick. I am sorry. My eye for detail will not allow me to, con to continue on with it floating in front of the vehicle as if nothing was going on. It will not allow me to continue in this matter. I have a very nice English accent. Accent, yosh. <laughs> very brash, yosh. Um, all right. Engaging warp drive in three, two, one. Hello? Hello? Come on, do something. Oh, there she goes. Whoa, look at the G's already. Look at the G's. Oh, my G's. 34, 35, 36,000 meters, 37,000, 38. We're at 4,000 meters per second now. Electric charge is holding. Look at that. 4,000, 5,000 meters per second now. You know, this would be... I, I could still make this warp drive really work, but it couldn't be big. The ships would have to be m m s just minuscule, just like oh, like a single Kerbal in here with maybe like a crew capsule, right? And this just huge freaking warp drive behind him. So if I wanted to make something even bigger, I would have to have like maybe two or three of these, like the big one that I showed you. And I don't know why these hexagon shapes are popping through. I really don't. I'm thinking it's from the uh, EVE environmental whatever for the clouds. I'm thinking maybe there's too many clouds because I did add three sets of clouds. I added a normal, normal cloud and then I added the clouds that are like way up high in the stratosphere. And then I added some clouds to skim along the surface of the planet in order to create like mist or neo fog. I'm thinking that the fog ones is the ones that are going to, that are making those weird hexagonal weather patterns because maybe they're too close to Kerbin. So it's kind of like, you know, clipping through. We're already 11 meters, 11,000 meters per second, about to hit 12,000 meters per second. We are booking. I mean, we are, we are gone. Good night, nurse. We are freaking gone. So in reality, interestingly enough, I did a lot of research on this. If warp drive was real, you wouldn't see stars go by like in the movies. You wouldn't even see, um... You wouldn't even see J.J. Abrams' weird uh, light show portal. It wouldn't be anything like that. In reality, if a warp drive was activated, it's warping space-time. So therefore, light travels through space-time, and it'd be a lot like a lot like the water effect. You'd have this shimmering, warping look as the light was trying to reach your craft, but it was being warped around by this warping effect. Now, if you're moving forward, and you start reaching like 10-20% speed of light and going faster and faster this same light is going to have a red shift and a blue shift effect in front and behind your craft so um, after a while the light itself is going to start changing colors and as soon as you start getting up there in speed towards light speed the light is no longer going to be able to reach the back end and sides of your craft indeed all the light is going to focus on the on the very front of your craft as you're running into the light at near light speed so technically all around your craft would be darkness and in front of your craft would be this shining blinding ball of light i could imagine that that would be so cool to actually make in like a sci-fi show to to really see what a warp drive what it would be feel like or look like inside this warp bubble as you're traveling at the speed of light or even faster now if you, if you don't believe me you know go ahead and look it up yourself uh, the the two people that i'm pulling off pulling this information and knowledge off of is like neil degrasse tyson and was was the other guy's name michio kaku or if i'm pronouncing that i'm probably butchering their their names but i'm so tired right now i can't really think straight but yeah the, those guys know what they're talking about okay they've been doing this stuff for many 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 years and just 
the the idea of knowing that reality is stranger than science fiction is so awesome if you're on one of these ships and warping through the galaxy it's like you're you're looking out the window and you just see nothing but darkness as far as i can see it feels feels scary and stuff but in, in front of the ship is this ball of light and it's so awesome to think about it that way <clears throat> and the best part is you don't need some sort of weird dilithium crystal in order to keep the warp matrix blah 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 in reality warp drive is very possible it's this already been mathematically proven the thing that we need to do is find a power source that's strong enough to it to use it in order to create this warp drive effect and the more power you put into it the faster you can go you know so you've got everything from nuclear power i can imagine that the first warp drive engines would be nuclear powered and you know it, the power would um, charge up a capacitor and then release all that energy in order to warp space time for maybe an hour or so before i had to drop out of warp and then re charge its batteries and then do it all over again and then far into the future you'd have like antimatter drive and hyperspace tap and what all those are good you know, theoretical sci-fi stuff going on but yeah because this is actually pretty cool i'm a little afraid to hit time warp though i'm deathly afraid but we're we need to end this video anyway uh so i uh, just want to let you all know that i love you all thank you so much for being a part of this channel and thank you so much for everything you do for this channel just watching it and liking it just watching just liking the video commenting on the videos is huge help the algorithm picks this channel up and it starts it starts you know doing its thing and uh i can't i cannot thank you guys enough for that that's all of you are amazing absolutely mother amazing so love you all take care and i will see you in the next video tomorrow morning okay fine here i go <laughs> alt and time warp okay that's the first time warp second third uh, yeah i saw that well actually it's not bad it's not bad see i can just turn it all back down and it's just gonna oh electric charge is gone i don't know why um well that fucking sucks